Hi YouTube! Schminke has released two limited edition palettes. The Leaf, which comes, they both come with the Academy watercolors. This one comes with 12 half pans. And this one comes with 24, which is the complete range. Just open it up. I got these two palettes from the Kunstpark shop uh, website. As you can see, twelve half pants and twenty-four half pants. We're gonna try this palette out since this one has all of the colors. Every year Schminke releases these palettes with a colorful lid because it's black on the bottom and these do have the rolled edges. Sometimes Schminke palettes come with uh, unfinished harsh or sharp edges and this lid also stays upright so it doesn't slope down. And I like these palettes. They release one every year since I think 2017. In 2017 they came out with a brighter rainbow than this one. In wait a second. In 2018 they released a blue green one. And in 2019 they released a yellow with a bit of orange. In 2020 they released a green and purple one which I skipped and I picked up this one instead with com which comes with these nine colors with the primary colors, the complementary colors and the darks which is an interesting set. In 2021 they released this palette which I love and this one contains all of my super granulated colors from Schminke. This one is the oldest and contains most or all of my professional watercolors or horror watercolors from Schminke. And I tried to fit as many as I could. I did make, I did switch out the, what do you call the inside tray for one out of the Kramer watercolor palette because as you can see the metal is on the outside instead of the inside as this one so I could fit in a whole row with half pants on the side so I did that so this one is the oldest palette and it has just a few scratches and damages from use and where you keep opening and closing the paint is starting to rub off but it stays oh it still is one of my favorite palettes because of course it contains all of my pour down watercolors this swatch card isn't up to date anymore because i took out all of the super granulating watercolors and put it in this palette over here so i need to update this swatch card because i can't use the back side anymore <laughs> So I need to make a new one. So these two have a special place in my watercolor what do you call it? collection. I would say collection. I will keep them like this. But it's interesting that they release two sets right now. I'm going to open this one up and swatch all of these colors because all the colors that are in this set are also in this set. So you also get a swatch card with the palette. 
Oh, I'm holding it upside down. And it comes, I think it's a pretty balanced piece of mine. I think this is a pretty balanced set. It comes with three yellows. I'm not counting the Naples yellow. I don't like the Naples yellow anyways. It also contains a red pigment, so a red and a yellow pigment. Three reds. Four blues. And four greens, which are a lot of greens by the way. And one violet color. This is by the way a single pigment violet with PV16, which surprised me. The orange is also a single pigment, which is the P071, which surprised me. The cadmium red hue also is a sig single pigment. And I think they should have named this color a different name. What is it? A pyrrol red? Scarlet <laughs> red? I need to look it up. It's the same pigment number as the vermilion. So they might have as well called this a vermilion red instead of a cadmium red hue. And the same goes for the cadmium yellow hue which contains the PY151. And I'm not going to try to pronounce this color this one with the PY 151 so oh, I'm gonna open all of these up and we're gonna swatch them
So here are all of the colors swatched out. What do you think of the colors? There are 16 single pigment watercolors in the Academy line. The Academy watercolors are one of my favorite student watercolors along with uh, Van Gogh or Van Gogh watercolors. Those I really enjoy working in my sketchbook. The, le the light lemon yellow, the cadmium yellow hue, orange, cadmium red hue, carmine, magenta, violet, ultramarine, Persian blue, cyan, br brilliant green, uh, yellow ochre, burnt umber, English red, and the black are all of the single pigment watercolors. I hope I didn't forget one. What do you think of these limited edition palettes? I like them. I hope they release like a coral, teal and magenta. Like a bright, like opera pink leaning magenta. Colorful, lane, colorful tin, because that would be beautiful. Or a super granulating tin. Let me know what colorful tin you would like. Or like the brighter rainbow that they released in 2017. I like this muted, grungy looking rainbow. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.